What's going on, boys and girls? How the devil are you, you scurvy land lovers, you? And welcome to my next guide for Sea of Thieves. Now, this is going to be a bit of a different one, guys. We are going to be eventually doing a guide for all of the new Pirate's Life tool towels that have just dropped in Sea of Thieves. However, I'm going to be kicking off with the Sunken Pearl. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hang on, Shanks. The Sunken Pearl is number two. Why aren't you starting with number one? Well... In all fairness, the Sunken Pearl is actually, so far, one of the more difficult ones that I've played. And by far, the most buggy. So I want to basically give you guys, uh, hopefully, a lot more pleasurable experience of a playthrough than what I had when I first attempted this quest. Because it was full in hair, let me tell you. So, in this, we are going to cover a playthrough in a very how-to format. Uh, hopefully show you where the journals are that I know, hopefully all of them, and uh, how to get past any of those tricky puzzles that you might encounter. So, without further ado, let's set sail, boys and girls. And that's what I mean by it being buggy. So, after accepting the quest, you are going to be boarding your ship. And you are going to have this as a mission guide, as it were. Now, the end page of this book is actually a map. As you can see behind me, we are going to be going just west. Slightly southwest of Old Salt's Atoll. Which, on the map, is down here in the bottom left. So, we're going to be going about here on the map. And I've got to sail past a bunch of reapers to get there. Lovely of the jubblies. So that is going to be our destination. As far as things that you want to gear up for, you're not going to need cannonballs. Ideally, if you can grab some food, lovely. Some big hills. But to be honest, most of the things that you need through the mission, you're going to be able to find there. So let me see if I can navigate these seas well enough to get through to the reapers. And I'll see you over there. So if you are struggling to find it, you can always look for this big blue light in the sky and sail up towards that. Now, I'm not going to lie, this has taken me an age to sail across here. But super easy. When you know which direction you're going, literally look out for that and you can sail right up on top of it. Now, once you see all the floating debris and all the, uh, the loot, as it were, in the water, feel free to drop anchor. Now, I haven't lost my ship during this, but I'm pretty sure even if you do, it's not that big a deal. So drop on anchor and get yourself down there. Now, for this bit, I'm actually going to turn the game sound off because I don't want the... A, I don't want the music to be copyright. And B, we're going to do this in a little bit more of a guide format. So things like um, audio, um, dialogue, we're going to try and cut out as much as possible. Uh, so, at the, uh, at the loot, jump on in. There we go. We'll turn off the, uh, we'll turn off the music. And as we're going to swim down, we're going to start looking for all the debris in the water. And I've got to be honest, when you're actually doing this, this mysterious voice, the song, absolutely beautiful. Really, really well done. I've got to be honest, I don't think Sea of Thieves gets anywhere near the type of credit it should do for its quests, um, whether it be the Tall Towers, the new Pirate's Life stuff. They, they really do a really, really, really good job. So we're going to be following all the debris down and we're going to be searching for the Black Pearl. Now, you may be thinking, hang on, Shanks, there's no way I'm going to be able to hold my breath for that long. How are you doing it? There's going to be a ton of air bubbles that you're going to swim through on the way down. If you are down here for a long time, which you will be, start looking around for these air bubbles, especially towards the ocean floor. They are going to be an absolute lifesaver. Worst case scenario, if you can't find any, don't forget, even though you're underwater, you can still eat food and keep that health topped up. So, swimming along down, and we are going to be going all the way to the bottom of the sea unfortunately my pc decides to crash every now and again super weird so a uh, bit of a glitch there nothing to worry about always feel like um 
I, I, I'm probably showing my age here, right? But there was a film that I used to love as a kid, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Bobbing along. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. So, we're swimming on down. Keep an eye out for these air pockets as well. Don't want to start taking damage. I will be careful of it. And I've got to be honest, I don't know if there can be any sharks in the water or not. I've not seen any. Um, so I think we're pretty safe. Um, pretty much the same as I, I think the ship's pretty safe up the top as well. Um, I wouldn't advise doing this with any loot on your ship. Or if your flag has got any decent amount of rep, I would definitely be turning it in before embarking on this tall tale. So, as we are swimming on down, we should have the pearl in sight. I don't know if I've taken the wrong turn here. We should have the pearl in sight any moment now. It's definitely no, not looking as colourful as what it should at the moment. So, I may have taken the wrong turn. We might have to double back. No. The second we know that music's still playing, and it will definitely help with the music still playing will definitely type of guide you on your path uh, as you can see that thing in front of me there that's going to be an air bubble air, air bubble air bubble right next to the pearl so we're going to make sure we swim over the top of this and when we do we will take in a big <gasps> gasp of air which is going to allow us to uh to be down here for a little bit longer right once we find the pearl we are going to be going up all the way across to this cannon and down the stairs now there's going to be a, a bit of a new interaction i've not seen this before um where we're going to have to clear the debris that's in front of us and this is going to be the first set of debris here I'm going to push it out so we're going to be able to swim across over here and then oh do we have to clear the next bit of debris yeah we do yeah we do try and clear it all up then swim slightly to the right and we're going to move this plank which is then going to cause the cannon to roll down. And then we are going to be able to get into here and nick this key off this. Well, it's not really, not really nicking, is it? It's liberating this key off this dead fella. So we've got the key. Lovely of the jubblies. The Black Pearl key has been discovered. Now, on our way back, there is going to be an air vent in the floor that we might as well just top out for an hour air, right? Any time that we're going past one of these, you may as well top up on your air, just in case you never know when you're going to find your next one. So after that, we are going to go up to the main deck and we're going to go across to the captain's quarters and let ourselves in because we've got the key. So over it, whack that in the old lock, bosh. And then in here, we're going to have a little swim up and we're going to take Jack's compass. Now, if you've seen the films, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing you have, you know Jack's compass points you to exactly what your heart desires. And in this case, your heart really, really desires to get this mission done. So, from the pearl, we're going to be chucking a right. And we're going to start swimming down. You might think you're heading towards that. You're actually going to be swimming down. Make sure you grab the uh, the air pocket along your way. As I say, you never know how long you're going to be in here for. But there are tons of air pockets as you're going to fl uh, float over. And to be fair, it, it's really simple. Just by going over them like that, you'll hear that gasp of air and you are good as gold. So, swimming on up. And I believe we're going to come out the water about now. There we go. Right. These will take you back to your ship. However, they will also end your tall towel. But if you need to pause it or rejoin it at a later stage, this is definitely where you can do so. Um, I'm not sure how easy it is to rejoin it. But at your own peril. Right. These purple things control seals. If we try to walk through that beforehand, we wouldn't be able to get through. However, after punching that or shooting it, kicking it, biting it, head biting it, whatever you want to do, that will get yourself through that. And we're going to move into this area now. From there, we're going to go under the water, bob along and straight up 
following that ladder. Uh, super easy to just get on the ladder and to be fair, save yourself any swimming whatsoever. In fact, obviously, the second I grabbed that ladder, I worked out we needed to grab the ladder. So, such is life. Right, this is going to be your first puzzle room. Now, there is also going to be a journal on the floor. But before we get into that, we have got a few critters to deal with. Uh, that lovely singing lady was, in fact, a siren. And uh, in law, they're not all that nice all the time. So we're going to have to deal with these real quickly. And they do hit for some serious, serious bloody damage. Hence why that food is definitely in order. If you are struggling a little bit with them, there are, there is, there is, or oh, there are, there is ammo over here on the uh, the right left hand side as you enter the room. So shoot these guys, punch them, kick them, bite them, nut them, gouge their eyes out. I don't care how you kill them, but we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be staying fairly mobile while we go through these and keeping an eye on our health. As I say, a couple of charges from these guys. You will be finding yourself handing over your soul to the ferryman. They hit super hard. You know, the toughest thing we fought up until now is a couple of skeletons here and there. Eh, eh. These these funny little things do you some damage. But they're fairly stupid, which is handy. Um, as they're charging at you, you can shoot them, dodge them out of the way. They will type of chase you around a little bit. Um, this big one is a little bit more of a problem. Again, try and aim for the weak spot if you can. Evidently, when I just said that, I'm shooting him in the head rather than the weak spot. But I'm hoping you have better aim than what I do. And let's be fair, it's probably not all that hard. So, grabbing more ammo. Keep on moving. Grab that fella. There we go. Vanquished. And I believe that's your lot. So, we're going to find this on the floor, the Siren Heart. Pick up the Siren Heart, and we're going to put it in the statue on the right-hand side. Then, we're going to get to solving this puzzle. Before we do that, however, I want you to run all the way to the back of the room. All the way to the back towards this uh, wooden debris. Another one that will take you back to your ship. And on the right-hand side, just behind the wood, you're going to find your first journal. From the journal, we are going to suss out how to do this puzzle. Now, you're going to see a fair few of these throughout your journey through these caves. And the easiest way to do it is to look at what they're holding in their hand. So we can see the, the one with the chain needs to be at high. The one with, it looks like crystallized fire needs to be in the middle. And the one holding a ball needs to be the one low down. So if we go up to this one here, that's the one with the chain and it is already high in the sky. So we don't need to touch that one at all. If you did need to change it, you're just going to shoot it. So on the next one, we're going to have a little look what's in their hand. And that one is already in the middle. As you can see, the fire there already in the middle. Lovely of the jubblies. And then on the left hand side, this one has got his scepter in the air and that is just not bloody good enough. So we're going to run over, give him a clout, give him another clout. And that is it. The scepter is now down below and they are matching up with that puzzle on the wall. From there, you can either shoot, punch, kick, bite this one in the middle and then she is going to blow the horn. From that, if you've done it right, touch wood you have, they're all going to make a sound and you are going to be able to proceed to the next room. Fingers crossed. As you can see, the waterfall opens up and we're going to be able to float up nice and easy. So, from the top, very much same, same and same and same again. But, you will see, the guy with the chain is up high. The guy with the fire is up high. The guy with the, the ball is up high. So, we haven't got any statues on this level. Always worth checking if you've got statues on this level. If you cannot see any statues, you're going to have to use the ones in the previous room. So, we're going to go jump into the water. That's already up high. We're going to get the gun because we can't be bothered to swim all the way down there. Because we're super lazy. And we're going to shoot that one twice. His staff's up high. Then shoot that one once. 
That should take his staff up high. And from there, we are then going to shoot the one in the middle. And hopefully, that will trigger our next bit. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, will the, uh, will the waterfall open up again and take us down further? Unfortunately not. You've got to stand on that geyser there. And that is going to blow you up to this level where we have got some new statues. Uh, I would definitely recommend stocking up on ammo. Because, unfortunately, you guessed it. Nothing's ever straightforward. We are going to get attacked yet again. So, deal with your ads. However you're going to do it. And we will crack on after these lot are dead. But one of the beauties about while fighting those ads, you have got ammo, I believe, on both sides. One over there. And one on the left-hand side as you jump up, you've got ammo. And you've got a bundle of food in these barrels as well. And I'm in mean, absolute bundle. Don't forget, pineapples are full of heels. So they're well worth taking over everything else. Um, so you shouldn't run out of food while you're getting battered by those enemies as well. So absolutely bundles of battle. So once you kill the big one, he is going to drop the siren heart. And we're going to find which one needs it. So... We have got one over here, which needs the Siren Heart. So we have that one. We have that one on the right-hand side, that one on the left-hand side. And then the third one is going to be just up there. Now, we have got these on the wall again. So again, we know exactly what we need to do. We want to find the guy with the chain. Um, and the guy with the chain is going to be holding his in the middle. Looks good to me. Uh, the guy with the ball in his hand is going to be up high. And the guy with the fire is going to be down low this guy's the one with the fire so let's start him first there we go and then the one with the ball is going to be up high so we're going to run over here you can do this with a pistol you can do it with a, a sniper whatever you feel more comfortable with now this will trigger but is it gonna be enough so let's have a little look. This is where a lot of people get stuck. It can be super, super difficult. As you can see, we're going to hit that. Bosh, we know we've done it right. We've copied the wall. Waterfall's going to open up. But that's a pitiful, pitiful, pitiful amount of water. And we're not filling up quite enough. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Well, ignore absolutely everything I just said there because we did fill up enough. Now, when I first done this, when we cracked open the seal, we wasn't getting enough water. If that is the case, you need to do the bottom one again and the top one and shoot them both at the same time. Uh, you can shoot them both from the platform below it's not that much of an issue but apparently when i done it it was just super glitched out so hopefully you guys can just fix that puzzle and, and float on up bit of a weird one just in case it's bugged you know what to do now before we leave this area however we're going to pick up the next journal so once we have uh, got up to here we've solved the three different puzzles you're going to swim around and find the red rocks once you find these red rocks, you're going to find your journal just next to them. An ancient mystery by Dimitri Silverplay. Right, from there, we are going to progress back to where we had just swum up to. And now we are going to head up this spiral as much as we can. Running and jumping, skipping and laughing all the way up to the top. Just follow it round as you can. Um, it should be fairly straightforward uh, wherever you need to go. Now, again, you've got one that will take you back to your ship. You've got ammo all over the place. And if you do see any chests, don't feel uh, don't feel bad about stopping to loot them. Now, if you get to this type of area, boom, you cannot progress. You need to find what is holding that door together. And it's normally going to be one of these little purple things that are attached to it. And you're going to be able to progress from there. Now, this is going to be your first area where you get a pretty cool weapon. It's not super powerful or anything like that. But the Trident of the Dark Tides is what you're going to pick up in this next room. 
Now, there will be some dialogue and everything like that. Um, and it's if you're doing this in a group, it's pretty fun to start shooting your mates, although it doesn't do any damage. So grab your trident and listen to the Kraken. So once you've watched enough of that, not quite a cutscene, but a little bit of a dialogue, you're going to be able to swim straight on out. We're going to head back towards the Pearl. Now, one of the big problems with this weapon is, especially when it was glitched up yesterday, I wasn't able to drop it. Um, but you can charge it up much like a gun but if you hold it down you get a much bigger bang for your buck so it's worth holding it down versus some of these guys uh, now unfortunately it looks like you still can't drop it for food which is a bit of an issue um, depending on how hard these guys are hitting and they do hit fairly hard but charge them up and if you charge them up this is a one shot kill if your aim is better than mine I don't like the way he's swimming at me. I'm super aggressive. Back yourself up, friend. Those, uh, those leaders do take a little bit more damage. And you need to start doing a fair few of these. And again, once you've killed a few of these, they are going to drop the Siren Heart. Now, it's always worth trying to get your food out if you can. Trying to dump this off if you are on anywhere near as low health as what I am. Um, you don't want to be dancing with the fairy man just yet. So swim down towards the Black Pearl and keep killing these Lancers when you can. And uh, hopefully they will drop the Siren Heart before you die. Or before I die. And unfortunately I did die. But not to worry, these act as checkpoints as well. So if you do die at any point, you will spawn next to the nearest one of them and uh, carry on kicking these sirens' ass or getting beat up. Now, you can pick up one of them tridents again. I'm not going to because I prefer the uh, the option of healing if I need to. And um, having that glitched in my hand, I, I'm pretty sure that is a glitch as well. Then it's really not worth it for me uh, not to be able to eat all that delicious food that we found a little bit earlier on. Now, as I say, when I, when, while I'm killing these, make sure the second you uh, kill the one that drops the siren art, that is pretty much the end of the wave and uh, you're going to be able to progress. While you're fighting these, you may as well swim towards the Black Pearl because that is going to be the... That is going to be the, uh, the marker for our next journey, as it were. So, I've killed the last one. Picked up the Siren Heart. What I'm going to do is grab a little bit of air uh, from that one over there. And I'm going to follow the chains down. Now, once you've got the Siren Heart in your hands, you can drop it and have a look at your compass. It will lead you over towards the, where the chains are going. So, it's even easier. Just get to the Black Pearl. Follow the chains down. Uh, you're going to be fighting those leaders the whole way through. Swim over the air and swim all the way down to the big old citadel door down at the bottom again we're going to have a little um siren puzzle where we're going to need to put the uh the, the the heart in and then match up the symbols super easy so once you put the siren heart in this one on the right hand side you are going to copy this up to the pictures on the wall where both of their arms are down by their sides and the trident is basically just resting so swim over, hit both of these. If you've got a pistol, don't feel uh, don't feel shy about shooting them. But unfortunately, I run out of ammo fighting those leaders. So once you've got both of their tridents down at their sides, hit the uh, the horn blower up there. Then hopefully this door should begin to open. Open sesame. There we go. And you are going to swim inside. As you swim inside, depending on how long you've been outside, you may start taking damage like me. But you are going to be looking out for these two distinct bits of shipwreck directly in front of you because your next journal is going to be there. Let me grab some air first. Right, healed up. So the shipwreck on your left-hand side is going to be the one that you want to investigate and your journal is going to be tucked down just on the floor down there. So from there, we're going to want to progress forward. But unfortunately, the path is blocked. So from the shipwreck, we're going to be heading even further left towards this slope 
Yeah, sorry guys, I'm super tired today. <laughs> Trying to do this with like no sleep in the last 24 hours. Words are hard. Okay. So we're going to progress through. And again, if you see one of these purple things, odds are good. It is blocking your path from progressing. Hit that and you'll be able to get into the next room. From this next room, we have got, you guessed it, three more bloody mermaids. So, the one with the chain is holding his hand up high. Let's start with that one. All the way to the top. The one with the ball is central, and the one with the fire is lower down. So we'll start with that. The one with the fire, lower down. The one with the ball is central. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky because where is the bloody horn blow? I know what you're thinking. Deep, well ahead of you. Swim right up the way to the top and you are going to have a little look around here and hopefully you should be able to find it eventually just there. Now, you are going to have to shoot that one. There is ammo down below if you're already out. And once you've shot that one, it is going to drain the room. Once the room has been drained, we are going to be getting attacked again. They love it, don't they? They absolutely love it. So deal with your attackers and then we will progress on. Right. So after you've dealt with your uh, attackers, facing the one with the chain, we're going to turn to the left hand side and there's going to be a little hole here that we're going to be able to drop down. Now, this isn't actually going to help us progress, but on this uh, other piece of debris, of this other bit of shipwreck, there is your next book. So, read that. Things just went from bad to worse. So you've got that book. We're going to go back to this main room and over towards the pulley system. Now, these can be incredibly, incredibly buggy. They may be super responsive. You may have to hold it down for a few minutes. You may have to keep on moving it around. Eventually, it will go. It's a super pain, and I hope they fix the responsiveness of this. Um, so on the body system, if you're using the keyboard, just hold W, holding it up, and that is going to lower that door all the way to the ground. And once it gets in and you can see it actually click in, you are good to go. Once that dust runs up, boom, you run over. And unfortunately, it shuts behind you. Now, this was, without a shadow of a doubt, my least favorite room in the whole place ever because I got so, so stuck. Everything was super buggy, and it was very, 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 very difficult to get out. Hopefully, I'm going to show you in one take how to do it. So, again, we're going to find the pulley system, and we're going to look over there at that, and we're going to bring it all the way down to the floor by holding, I believe, holding up. Bring it all the way down to the floor and get prepared to leg it. You have got a little bit of time but you want to make sure you're, it's definitely submerged in the water, giving you as much chance to release the pulley, not fat finger it, and uh, and run on over. Jump on over that, and then you can basically ride this all the way to the top. It's not an issue. Ride it to the top. And then from there, you can jump off this, or, to be honest, once you're right at the top, you can actually just run off this over to this platform here. From there, we're going to run up to the ship. Where are you? all the way up to the top jumping on under the ship from uh, a couple of ways you can do it to be fair from there or straight to the top and over now this is going to be your last journal just here which you're going to grab the don't look for us by dimitri of the silver blade now from there we need to work out how to get up there and i've got to be honest it was a nightmare we tried a lot of different stuff Hopefully, I'm going to show you the super easy way to do it immediately. So, from the journal, we are going to go back out, round the back of the ship, and we are going to go to the other side of the platform. So, that's where we jumped on. That's the way that we run up. We've gone through the ship, and we are going to follow this round all the way. And guess what? You guessed it. There's another bloody mermaid puzzle. These are the same mermaids that we can't actually get back to anymore. Um, because the, the door shut behind us. So, the guy with the chain is holding his down low. If you need to change guns, need to get ammo, there is a change of guns in the ship, and there is ammo directly behind you here. So, the guy with the chain is holding it low. 
the guy with the ball is in the middle i believe he's good in the middle as is and the guy with the fire is up high that's the guy with the fire we can see it burning off his shoulder as well and he is up high once you've done that you cannot see that up the top for love nor money there is not a shot there i don't care what you're using so we're going to run all the way back up to the ship now hopefully if i remember how to do this correctly we go back into the ship and we will be able to see the mermaid up the top over there now i might need to be on top of the ship to do so or wait for the screen shake that was horrid wait for the screen shake or we need to get the sniper rifle out if we can't see it so we're going to basically go to the top of the ship and then we're going to shoot it from there so to get to the top we're going to go to the front come over here to the left hand side we're going to jump over to there if we fall down it's not the end of the world we go back over to the pulley system and raise ourselves back up back onto the top of the ship and then to be honest just for simplicity we're going to use the armory at the back and we're going to switch over to a sniper rifle whack it in either slot we'll change it straight away again and as you can see through that horrible screen shake and i do believe oh, i hit it oh i missed it there through that horrible screen shake we have just hit the horn blower on top that we couldn't see from anywhere else i don't even want to talk about how long that took me to find out so we're going to wait for this uh cavern to fill up and then we're going to crack on jumping off of there and we're going to swim on over jumping onto this ladder and then we are up on the higher echelons of this the siren queen is starting to get a little bit worried now she knows you mean business we're going to use the pulley system and we're going to pull it all the way up by holding down so all the way up and then they're basically what we want to attempt to do we can go through to our right which is just going to be the main quest or we're going to jump on this and we are going to jump over here over here over here the left hand side into the mouth of this volcano and you will find the silver blade key resting just there so holding this key it's a bit of a pain in the ass i'm not going to lie um but there is a loot room that you're going to be able to get to in a little bit that hopefully should be worth it you be the judge unfortunately or well, fortunately you can still use the pulleys and everything like that um it's just a little bit more difficult dropping the key hitting things picking the key back up yada 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 you know the drill so from there jump onto that and then jump over to the right hand side and we are going to progress down this way you can see in this room we're going to go straight through it stock up on ammo pick up your silver blade key every time you want to interact with anything drop it again shoot that thing at the top pick up your silver key do not leave this key behind if you do there is no way back for it all right so from the from entering that room we're going to go up to the left hand side left hand side we're going to jump up holding this poxy key and we are going to go across to the ship now i think we can use the key straight away uh all the way down here unlock that and then we're going to have to defend ourselves in a minute we've got a chest of everlasting sorrow just there um now i've got to be honest i didn't get this before and i've got no idea on how to get it out but we'll uh we'll wing it we'll wing it <laughs> so i'm gonna leave that there and we are gonna start having to defend ourselves from the cannons over yonder but it's okay i know what you're thinking Shanks, you told me not to bring cannonballs it's all right go to this barrel here you've got a fair few so aim at these guys you should be getting hit markers if it goes anywhere near them um and just you may need to use different cannons to get the right shots on all the different people there's going to be a few of the bigger monsters spawning up as well um that are really really a bit of a pain in the ass but a few cannonballs is a great leveler for a lot of different things so let's clear this up and we'll go from there once you've done with that wave as it were or you've got enough of uh, enough time you need to go to the anchor and you need to start raising this anchor it will take a while it's a lot easier if there's two people one on the cannons one raising the anchor at the same time it gets a lot easier 
but it's not the end of the world either which way. Unfortunately, if you haven't cleared a lot of the cannons, then you may eat a few cannonballs as you attempt to do this, or even get blown off the ship. If you do get blown off the ship, not to worry. Oh my days, what just happened there? If you do get blown off the ship, not to worry. You can grab the mermaid slash checkpoint a little bit lower. I'm not even sure if we can go up yet without killing those guys off. Uh, we're going to try it again and see what happens. Hopefully, we don't spin out of control. If we do, then we know we're going to have to kill everything over on that side before we start raising it up. Right, we have spun out of control again. So that's fair enough. We're going to have to make sure that we kill everything over on this side before we go any higher. Don't listen to Shanksy. <laughs> what a waste of bloody time. All right, there we go. Are they all vanquished. We good? We good? Can we raise this yet? Lovely. Try it again. So, all the way to the top. Super slow, but at least no one's going to shoot you in the face with a cannonball. Hey, makes things even easier. Just clear out the way. Lovely. Now, we are going to be getting even more company up there, as you can see. Hopefully, when we get to a certain point, though, we're not going to just all of a sudden fall down again. Uh, we will be on a little bit of a higher level. We're going to clear out that wave and then progress even further up. So, let me get on with clearing out that wave, and I'll see you in a sec. Uh, while clearing out that wave, the boat was slowly, slowly, slowly dipping back down. Uh, but it wasn't anything to worry about at all. Once clearing out that wave, we can progress even further. Um, it is a bit of a laborious process, unfortunately. It's a little bit slow. But I think you'll agree with me up until now. This quest has been absolutely phenomenal. Especially having played it with the sound and the whole atmosphere going around. Playing it without the sound isn't isn't much cop, I'll be fair. Um, but it's pretty damn special, isn't it? Honestly, they don't get enough. Uh, they don't get enough credit. Now, we have just dropped down because old Big Lips has just come in um, because he wants a kiss. Look at him. Look at him. You little mate. Now we are getting hit markers on this. We weren't getting hit markers before. I'm intrigued to see if we get hit markers on the tentacles. We do not. But again, we are just going to jump on the cannon and we're going to throw everything we've bloody got in. Keep an eye on your health. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to go down here. If there's any help, there's going to be a few ads that come on as well. So deal with the ads before worrying too much about the kraken. No, it sounds daft. But deal with the ads, and then you're going to take a lot less damage overall and be able to get them shots off a little bit easier. So once dealing with the ads, it's a lot easier to stay in the center of the boat if you can. Um, due to there will be a lot of rocking, there'll be a lot of pushing you off and things like that. And you don't want to slip off. If you do, there's a mermaid down at the bottom that you can uh, just resume and like teleport back up. But we are going to be shooting <laughs> this good looking little... Is that? It looks like a bird, doesn't it? It does. A little, a little beak and everything. Now, with not getting any hit markers, I've got to be honest, guys. I don't really know where to tell you to aim. Ideally, aim in his mouth if you can. Um, when he goes to bite you or whatever, um, there's not really a block function from what I can work out. I'd love to know if you guys know of a, a, a surefire way to get through this guy super quick. Please let me know down in the comments below. Um, as far as I'm aware... We're just going to keep on peppering him. We've tried hitting his tentacles. We've tried hitting his face, in the mouth, on the tongue. You name it. I've hit him there. Um, well, not, not, not everywhere. Get your mind out of the gutter. I have hit his tentacles a few times, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it doesn't really seem to speed anything up. So just put as many shots into him as you can. Try not to get knocked off the boat. Without hit markers and stuff, it seems a little bit daft. Like, without a, um, I don't know, like a block function or some sort of mechanic, it, it seems really daft. Like, even that, we've, we've shot a cannonball into his mouth, and it, it's not enough to stop him biting down. So, I don't really know what we're meant to do here, guys, truth be told. Um, just get on the cannons, keep on firing, hope for the best, and uh, it'll piss off eventually. 
There we go. Straight in the mouth. Bosh. And we still get hit. I don't get it. Uh, again, you've got hundreds of cannonballs. Hopefully, he doesn't actually take all of the 100 cannonballs. I, I believe he took about 40 or 50 yesterday. Um, all right. And then all of a sudden, I don't know if he's eaten too many or what the crack is there. <laughs> but he just all of a sudden decides to uh, decides to do one. So after he disappears, you are going to jump back on the anchor and start raising it all the way to the top. Now, I've just had a bit of a weird one where I decided to climb up a little bit too early. Um, couldn't go anywhere, so I had to come back down to use the anchor. Decided to drop my chest of sorrows off the edge at the top uh, onto the deck and then come back down, use the anchor and go back up. Unfortunately, my chest of sorrows has then just disappeared. Um, so... <laughs> So we won't be cashing in on that reward after all. So I have no idea how much it goes for. Uh, I may do it again and leave it down in the comments. If you manage to get that chest of sorrows out, please let me know how much it actually goes for. I'd be intrigued because I don't know where mine just disappeared to. I dropped it off the edge there and you, you would think it would... I, I don't know. I can't believe they just stole my chest of sorrows off me. Oh, man. Right, anyway. Climb to the top of the mask. Don't lose your chest of sorrows. Don't be a muppet like me. Missed that chest of sorrows already. To be fair, I don't. It would have been a nightmare getting out. And yeah, I, I dropped it from here. Can't even see it, can you? Where could it have gone? Doesn't make sense. Anyway, from here. Walk the old, uh, walk the plank. Or we'll walk the mast. And we're going to jump over. And it looks like Did we glitch out a little bit there. We glitched out massively there, I think. Okay. Right, I've I've genuinely no idea what just happened there, guys. Um, obviously, we're we're fairly late into the recording. I don't want to restart. Um, and one of the things that I'm trying to show you is there is, there is a lot of glitches. To be fair, from the top of there, you just follow the uh, follow it round, and you will eventually come to this bit anyway. I, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to go straight into this bit. Double check for food. Make sure you're uh, you are well stocked up before we keep progressing, and uh, keep on moving in the only direction that you can. Totally up to you if you want to grab one of the uh, the dark tides. I probably would for this next bit, but it is totally up to you. As I say, you can all of a sudden get serious damage. That one actually let me drop it, but it hasn't let me drop it before. So, okay. Maybe maybe they're sorting out some of the bugs while others are randomly appearing. Who knows? Bundles of Dark Tides in there, more ammo, everything like that. But we are going to come up to here and uh wait to fight the old siren queen baby with the siren queen i would recommend using charge shots as much as possible uh unless she's super in your face then do what you need to do to try and get her out of there uh but use charge shots as much as possible and it really allows you to when she's charging in on you just drop them big big bombs baby now she's got a fair few stages she's going to call in a few ads as, as things go Keep trying to move. Keep trying to deal with the ads. Don't be afraid to drop your uh, your trident if you need to. If you're not hitting your shots with it or you'd prefer your blunderbuss or whatever it is you use, fill your boots. Personally, I just like having a sword every now and again. Um, but I do think this does a fair old amount of damage. There is also a bundle of them. So if you do lose this one, you know, there's always other ones that you can easily pick up down there. Uh, next to the ammo so it really is personal preference on what you'd like to use i like the charge shot on this uh which is why i'm probably keeping it on at the moment see if he does stop swimming or start swimming towards me he's getting it he's getting it like that siren queen is back out and we're gonna hit with as many charge shots as she can all right we're gonna have to drop that and eat some food eat them pineapples Full health, baby. And then, now we're looking for bullets. 
Where has she gone? Where has she gone? Right. She's got some. Uh, she's got some ads back in second stage. So basically, a bubble per hit, and some of these leaders take like three hits. So the big bubbles will one-shot them. Obviously, she's not going to one-shot the Siren Queen. That would be that'd be pretty lame, wouldn't it? To be fair. Right. I don't know what she's doing, but she's nearly dead. Taking some heavy damage. She's called in all her mates. She's charging up her weapon. We're charging up ours. And you know I'll get there first, baby. Suck it, dad. Let's go. She's still alive. Premature celebration. Yeah. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> all right, it looks like she's also heating up the water. Ooh, I'm getting attacked by an ad or something. I don't know why I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm, uh, that's why I'm underwater. <laughs> what a muppet. I was drowning. <laughs> oh, pay attention to your oxygen levels, boys and girls. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, from there, stock up on ammo, stock up on food. Don't be afraid of them pineapples. And then we are going to proceed downwards. Further into the Siren's Cave. Because we've got a we've got an old friend to rescue. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Grab the ammo chest. Keep on going. See that thing at the top there? You know what to do by now. Don't need to don't need to teach you how to suck eggs. However, what do we do in this point? Have we got any uh, any bombs? I don't know if we're going to be able to get that through there, but I'm going to I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. All right. It's done some damage. Probably should get out the blunderbuss or something at this point. But we are going to shoot these statues up. Do as much damage as you can. There's no rush. They're not going to go back like down or anything like that. And they don't take half as much damage as the normal mermaid statues that you'd find on an island or under the water or anything like that. They don't take anywhere near that type of damage. Um, and we are rescuing our old mate. And that is it. That is it from here. We're going to return back to our ship. The tall tail is done. And uh, I hope this playthrough slash guide has helped you out. If it has, do me a massive favor. It's taken a little bit of time to film. If you wouldn't mind doing me an absolute massive favor, drop it a like, leave it a comment down below and uh, let me know how you got on and uh, what parts of this bugs for you. Because we've had some bugs during this guide, you know, that, and I was fully expecting to have some bugs. Hopefully, we've uh, we've glossed over them and helped you out, and you still know what you're doing with them. Um, fingers crossed. But let me know which parts bugged out for you, or did you have a smooth sail? And if anyone got out my chest of sorrow, how much did it sell for? Just rub it in a little bit. I want to know. I'm, I'm super intrigued. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. If you want to see more guides on various games, including Sea of Thieves, where we go through the other tall tales, hit that follow, hit that subscribe button, turn them notifications on. Uh, if you could do me a massive favor, leave a like, leave a comment, share it with your mates for the YouTube algorithm. It would super help me out. Um, but that is it for me today, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. If you want to catch me on my live stream, it's www.twitch.tv forward slash Shanksy. I hope to see you over there, guys. But until next time, be smart, be strong, be safe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. You take it easy.